Hey guys, welcome back to Steffi Talks. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my most worn designer handbag for 2019. So without further ado, just let's just get into it now. So this bag needs no introduction. I've only actually filmed the video on it once and I think that was last year when I got it. And it's turning one year, literally, I think it's turning one year whilst I'm filming it. It's around about that kind of time when I purchased it. I think it was in beginning of January when I was abroad in London and I went for my thing was for my birthday. So around, so it's literally on its one year mark but it's my most loved, most used bag ever for the year of 2019 and it is the Longchamp um, Le Pliage I need to go a bit back to, for you to, to show you this this is the Shopper um, Long Handle Tote and I think this is the large, I don't know if it's the large or the medium I'm not sure the way these are actually worded and there's so many different sizes but there's the top handle and the long shopper handle and obviously I've got the long shopper handle which is very easy for you to carry on your shoulder um, I actually got this in the black I got by my mum the navy and let me just go through a couple of points why this has been my most worn most used designer handbag for 2019 one it's been my work bag since I got it. So basically, I got this and I think I got the Neverfull. No, the Neverfull was a year old. And I started to use the Neverfull for work for about two months um, because I wasn't sure if I was wanted to use this for work. Um, I literally decided not to use the Neverfull for work because I loved it a bit too much and I wanted to kind of use it on occasions when I was like, I find just kind of anything outside of work, if that makes sense. So I actually changed over to the Longchamp and let's just say this has like, it durab dur the durability of this bag is amazing. It's amazing in the in the winter time, when it comes to torrential rain, anything like that. It's amazing because the outer part will get wet, but inside will just stay normal because it's got the lining of it. Obviously, I don't know if it's neoprene. It's not not it's not neoprene, but the lining of this is amazing, and nothing gets wet. So that's a really good thing, if you, especially if you're going to use a work bag and you need a work bag and you need something that's going to be really good and sturdy during, throughout like thunderstorms, wet and we don't, it doesn't get wet that often in Malta because obviously we have more sunshine but when we do have the thunderstorms it tends to get really bad so this has really been amazing for that. Um, I will show you a bit of wear and tear as well through this video but I'm going to keep this really short and simple because I don't want it to be a very long video because knowing me and my chat chat, chit chat, I tend to not stop yapping so let me just give you an overview so basically it's a, literally a black hole um, I used to have um, a little bag organizer inside but I've actually taken it out I'm actually using it in the Neverfall so I don't have that anymore. The hardware is still pristine. Um, if I show you the hardware, let's see. Everything still is so shiny and so like the, the gold hardware just is like literally better than the Louis Vuitton Neverfall. I am not joking. This has been in all weather occasions, weather things, and it's still gold. If you see my speedy, it's green. So. I don't know what they use, but whatever they use on, like, look how amazing this is. Like, this has been through all weather conditions. Let me get this. And it's literally pristine. It's still gold. There's no rust. There's no nothing. It's amazing. The quality of the gold hardware on the Longchamp um, Le Pliage bag is 100% amazing now this was about 70 pounds 70 euros 85 euros I got this from Harrods when I was leaving Heathrow Airport in London and that's all I can say it stays amazing now let me show you a bit of the wear and tear now I've been using this obviously as I said for work so it is a bit tatty it's obviously as you can see it's very very lovely it's very well loved like you can see it's worn here as well and you can see it's really nice and soft and bendy it's amazing um, obviously this is the little clasp it still looks pretty much brand new I don't really use this I tend to leave my back open um, it's just something that it's me I've got all my work stuff in here that's why it's quite big and quite fat um, the only thing downfall for me now this can carry 
this can carry a lot of weight like I it is very heavy and most times it can be heavier than it is right now um, and considering the, the handles are still very good and sturdy like I haven't had any problems with the handles the only downfall that I found are the corners now let me see if I can show you this this is the corners um, they kind of like are getting like holes on each side like I think not, is it on every nearly every side they're like coming out and they're just got like a little bit of a gap and a little bit of a hole I don't know if you guys can see this oh god the fluff so basically they have like weird kind of holes in the back on the sides of these so it's something that can be mended I have to be careful how much stuff I do keep in this bag and um, because of that but the holes are quite tiddy and diddy so they're not massive I think if they were massive I would have a problem with it but it's not so that's basically it but it does fit if you want to see what I have in here it, um, I do have a lot of stuff in here so I do fit a lot of things in this bag and it's amazing sturdy wipeable which is great so it's easy for you to wipe and if you have like I don't know I should really like the, the texture inside as well so and there's one pocket I don't know if you guys know there's that little pocket in the front um, but basically that is it's very good to kind of store because if you don't use it you can actually make it into that very small like little bag that they kind of have them displayed in the shops so yeah that's basically a little bit of an idea of what I tend to have used quite a bit in 2019 like literally every day like literally every day for work this is the bag that I've used I would give it a 5 out of 5 I can't really fault it apart from the the little like um, holes on the side of the base of the bag but apart from that it's done everything it's good in the rain it has a zip so you know you're good to go it's good for traveling me and my mom actually used it for traveling when we went abroad um, in December when we went um, to London for the weekend we both used we used both of them for traveling it was amazing it, fit, it had enough space to fit a lot of things I just think it's a really good bag. I know they're a larger bag that you can use to go on like, you know, like hold luggages, which I think is great, but I'm not sure if I would eventually get one. Um, I do want a smaller one with the top, I don't know if I want them with the top handles or with the shopper handles. I do want a smaller one just to have like every day to put my laptop in, or if I want an iPad or something, I can just have a smaller one. Because um, I don't know why last when we just left England, I didn't think of getting another one. So that's not that's on my wish list. I do want a smaller one in another color, maybe more of a bright color, just to kind of have something different. Because I do love a black, but I do think I want like a summery color maybe this time. And my mum likes the backpacks, which are really really pretty. But basically, that I just wanted to show you guys what bag I have literally used to death, literally to death. And it's a really good work bag as well. So if you're interested in something that's very versatile, good for work, great for thunderstorms, this is the bag to go for. So I really hope you enjoyed this quick chit chat video on my most worn designer handbag for 2019. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know down below if you've got one and what colour you own it in. And if you have the top handles or the shopper handles. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.